Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, I will discuss the operations of sets. This includes union of sets, intersection of sets, difference of sets, and complementation of sets. So recall, a set is a well-defined collection of distinct objects called elements. Its proponent is George Cantor. Sets are denoted using a capital letter and can be written in two methods. Those are roster or listing method and rule or set builder notation. Some examples of sets are set of animals which are two-legged, set of math books, set of vowel letters, and others. For this video, when dealing with operations on set, we will typically write the sets in roster or listing method so that it will be easier for us to visualize each element. For our first operation, the union of sets, here we combine all the elements given in two or more sets. Also take note that in listing the union of sets, elements should be written only once. So as an example, say set A contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, or the first 5 counting numbers, while set B has the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, or the first 5 positive add integers. Question is, what is A union B? So here, we will just copy the elements of the two sets. For set A, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. For set B, since 1, 3, 5 are already written in the set of A union B, then we will no longer write those numbers. So we will proceed to writing the elements 7 and 9. Thus, A union B has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 9. Its cardinality or the number of elements is 7. Illustrating the sets, it would look like this. For our second example, find C union D. If set C has the elements A, E, I, O, and U, or the vowel letters in the English alphabet, while set D contains the elements V, W, X, Y, and Z, or the last five letters in the English alphabet. Here, since there is no common element, we will simply write all the objects or elements. Hence, C union D has the elements A, E, I, O, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Its cardinality is 10. Now try this. Which of the following union of sets is right? Given that set R has the elements math, science, and English while set S contains Filipino, math, and araling panlipunan. Is it A, our union S has the elements math, science, English, Filipino, math, and araling panlipunan? B, our union S has the elements math, science, English, Filipino, mape, and araling panlipunan? Letter C, our union S Contains Araling Panlipunan, English, Filipino, Math, and Science. Or letter D, which has the elements English, Math, Science, Filipino, Mape, and Araling Panlipunan. If your answer is letter C, you are correct. A is not the right answer because math was repeated. Take note that common elements should be written only once. B and D are also incorrect because there is no MAPE being an element in the two sets. So set C is the correct answer. Its elements are just written in alphabetical order. After knowing the union of sets, let us now proceed to intersection of sets. So in this operation, only the common elements are written. That is denoted by this symbol and read as A intersection B. As an example, 
say set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. While set B has the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So to solve for A intersection B, it contains the elements 1, 3, and 5. Since those are the common elements to both sets. Another example, find C intersection D. If set C has the elements A, E, I, O, and U, while set D contains the elements V, W, X, Y, and Z. Here, notice that there is no common element to the sets C and D. Thus, C intersection B has no element or it is an empty set. So, we will use the symbol for empty set, braces without an element, or the null symbol. Now, it's your turn. Which of the following intersection of sets is correct? Given that R contains the elements math, science, and English, while set S contains Filipino, math, and araling panlipunan. Is it letter A? R intersection S has the elements science, English, Filipino, and araling panlipunan. Letter B, R intersection S has the elements science and English. Letter C, R intersection S has no element or simply null. Or is it letter D, R intersection S has the element math. The correct answer here is letter D. Only the element mathematics is common on both sets R and S. After the intersection of sets, we will now go to set difference. The difference between two sets, say set A and set B, is denoted by A minus B. It is defined as the elements that will remain to A once the common elements to B were removed. As an example, say set A with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, while set B has the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, find A minus B. Again, we need to look for elements in the first set that is not common to the second set. So removing 1, 3, and 5, since those are common elements, A minus B will contain the elements 2 and 4. Thus, the difference between set A and set B has the elements 2 and 4. Now, if you will be asked, what is the difference between set B and set A or simply B minus A? Then, you will look for elements in B that is not common to A. So, set B minus A has the elements 7 and 9. Now, try to answer this. Determine which of the following set differences is correct. Given that set R contains the elements math, science, and English, while set S contains Filipino, math, and araling panlipunan. Is it A, R minus S has the elements Filipino and araling panlipunan? B, set R minus set S has the elements science and Filipino. Letter C, S minus R, science and English, or is it letter D, S minus R, with elements Filipino and Araling Panlipunan? Well, the correct answer here is letter D. Filipino and Araling Panlipunan are elements in the first set, which is S, that is not in set R or our second set. After knowing the differences between sets, let us now proceed to set complement. Set complement is simply the element in the universal set that is not found in a given set, say set A. So it is commonly denoted by A complement or A raised to C and A prime. So A prime is denoted by U minus A or the universal set minus set A. As an example, say set E contains the elements 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, or the first 5 positive, even integers. While the universal set, 
is the first 10 positive integers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So determine the complement of E or E prime. As mentioned earlier, E prime are the elements in the universal set that is not found in set E. So in this example, E prime has the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. That can be illustrated in this graph. Another example, say the universal set contains all the letters in the English alphabet, while set M contains all the consonants. What is the complement of set M? Here, we know that the alphabet is composed of both vowels and consonant letters. So if set M contains consonants, then we can say that the complement of M has the vowel letters A, E, I, O, and U. Now try this. Determine the complement of V if set V contains the elements negative 5, negative 3, and negative 1, while the universal set contains the elements negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1. Removing the elements negative 5, negative 3, and negative 1 from the universal set, hence, V prime contains the elements negative 7, negative 6, negative 4, and negative 2. Thank you for watching!